Welcome to the Montalban Virtual Reality Laboratory. As you watch this video, you will notice that you have the ability to look around 360 degrees. If you're at a computer, click and drag the video to rotate your view. If you're using a phone, try moving the phone around. We are going to visit Building J at Montalban, a UNESCO World Heritage Site. Let's get started. This is a model of the main plaza at Montalban, one of Mesoamerica's first pre-Hispanic capitals established around 500 BCE. Montalban is located in the southern Mexican state of Oaxaca and is a popular tourist destination today. Montalban's civic ceremonial core features monumental architecture, lavish tombs, and carved stones bearing hieroglyphics and elaborate iconography. The main plaza includes a large rectangular area surrounded by structures such as platforms, temples, palaces, and other public buildings. In addition, a group of buildings also course through the plaza's center. For easy reference, archaeologists have assigned each building a specific letter. Today we will visit Building J, one of the most unique buildings in all of Mesoamerica. If you'd like, you can take a few moments and study the layout and architecture of Monte Alban. Welcome to Monte Alban. From here we have a clear view of Building J on the southern end of the main plaza. Monte Alban's architects clearly wanted to distinguish this building from all others. Not only does Building J present a unique arrow shape, but it's also aligned to the southwest, diverging sharply from all other buildings at the site. These key features have led some to argue that Building J was an astronomical observatory, used to track and record the passage of celestial bodies. Also unique is Building J's facade, which includes dozens of carved stones with a diversity of images and glyphs. Interpreting the meaning of these stones remains very challenging and controversial. This is due in part to the fact that Zapotec writing has not been completely deciphered. Furthermore, there is evidence that some, or perhaps all, of the carved stones are not in their original context. They may have been reused from earlier structures. In short, experts continue to debate the interpretation and significance of the stone inscriptions. To see the carved stones up close, teleport down to the plaza surface and explore the facade of Building J. Here before you is a series of carved stones embedded in the exterior of Building J. At the center of each one is a stepped platform, or hill glyph, surmounted by a variety of elements, such as plants, structures, and other symbols. Extending below each platform is a head of a person with a distinctive headdress and other adornments, such as ear flares or face paint. In some cases, additional hieroglyphs and numbers appear to provide dates or names. Archaeologists continue to debate the significance of Building J's carved stones and what they mean. In one interpretation, the stones are assumed to be in their original context and the inscriptions are understood as representing places and their associated leaders who were conquered by Montalban. As such, Building J is viewed as sort of a war memorial that recorded the conquests of the Zapotec state. A second interpretation contends that the carved stones were actually reutilized at Building J, taken from earlier structures at the site. This second view holds that the inscriptions represent the names of revered individuals from Montalban itself. From this perspective, Building J may represent an ancestor memorial. Here, at the northwest corner of Building J, is a carved stone depicting an individual wearing a cape, elaborate headdress, and a mask associated with the rain deity. The individual's outstretched hand holds a small animal head, probably a jaguar. A group of glyphs appear on the individual's torso and tucked behind the right leg. The individual's active stance may signify movement or dancing, and two circles appear to be atop each foot. The style of this stone, known as J41, is very different from the others, indicating that it was scavenged from an earlier building at Montalban. <laughs> 